Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. Recently, I did two videos about Antex Linux. And I also did a video about LMDE6, Linux Mint Debian, the brand new version. And I have a few things I want to say about it. Do I recommend using Antex Linux? Which I highly recommended in my last video about it. Or do I recommend using LMDE6, Linux Mint, based on Debian? So I'm going to show you a few things and let's get to it. So at home, I use Kimu and Vert Manager as my front end for my virtual machines. And you can see I have all these virtual machines here. I have Windows 11, 10, and all these Linux virtual machines. And up here, I have two Antex virtual machines. I have Antex and Antex-2. And a dash two only means that it's my second uh, version of that virtual machine, that's all. <laughs> and of course, I also have LMD E5 and LMD E6 amongst all these other ones. So first I wanna open up Antex. Now, Antex Linux this week did an update. And of course there's always updates, even a distribution that's based on Debian gets security updates and updates for their apps. Even though the updates aren't as much as uh, Arch Linux, which gets lots of updates every day. So I'm going to open up this first one. Now this one hasn't been updated yet. So let's open it. And it's going to make it full screen. And I put my, this is encrypted, so I'm going to put my encryption password in. Hit enter. And it's just booting up. And I'm going to put my password in. And we're logging into Antex Linux using the awesome window manager with my configuration file. So what I want to show you is this. Let's go to HTOP. And I gave this virtual machine four processors, four gigs of RAM, and the installer automatically gave it a two gig swap. Now you can see the uh, processors are up here. I have four processors. And look at how quiet they are. Now, they should be quiet. Now, if you load up uh, a web browser and start watching videos or video recording machine or some other machines, the processors are going to get busier. They're going to become more active. But when you're idling and you have no programs opened up, they should be quiet the way they are. And they are. And it's using 245 megabytes of RAM, which is nice and low. And look how quiet the processors are. Now, this was my first Antex install. And when I installed it, I did an update right away. And the update was very small. Now, this past week, there was a larger update for Antex Linux. But I didn't update this one. So now I'm going to shut it down. So I'm going to quit out of there. I'm going to open up my uh, terminal. I'm going to do... To do power off. And we're just powering down. And I'm going to close it. Okay, so this is Antex 2, my second virtual machine of Antex Linux. And I'm going to open it. I'm going to start it. And I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to make it full screen. And I'm going to boot into it and show you a few things. Let's put my uh, password in. This is my encryption password. And it's booting up. 
and it brought me to the login manager. So let's put my password in. And I'm going to log into the awesome window manager. Here we are. We're in the awesome window manager with my configuration file. And of course that pops up. Let's close that and let's open up HTOP. Now look at the processors. So you can see I gave this uh, four processors, four gigs of RAM, and the automated installer gave it two gig swap, which is okay. And I have nothing open. I have no web browser open or anything. And look at the processors. Look how active they are. And if I open up HTOP on my host machine, the processors are doing the same thing on my host machine. Now, I'm not going to show you the processors on my host machine because my host machine is the processors are going to be even more active than this because I'm recording. I have OBS Studio open and I'm recording, so of course they're going to be active. But I tried doing this off camera and with nothing open except this virtual machine. I had no recording equipment open. OBS was not open. And the processors on my host machine were just as active as this. So that's not good. I don't know why it's doing that. And like I said, before I did the update this week, it wasn't doing it. Now, maybe you're thinking, well, maybe this is your virtual machine. Maybe this is Vert Manager or Kimu. Well, the same thing happened at work, and that's how I noticed it. Because I've been using Antex Linux at work in a virtual machine. Now, at work, I'm running Windows 10 in my box. And I've been running Antex Linux in a virtual machine using Vert Manager. So there I'm using Vert Manager in my Windows 10 and running Antex Linux. And the same thing happened. And that's how I discovered it. I did an update this week for Antex Linux. And I noticed the processors in Antex Linux were running like this. And the processors in my Windows 10 were running like this. And I thought, that's weird. Why is that happening? And then today, off camera, because I didn't want my OBS Studio to be making my host machine processors overrun or, or run high. So today off camera, I went in using my Vert Manager and Chemo into Antex Linux and the same thing happened. The processors in Antex Linux are running high and in my host machine they're running high. And then I, of course, I opened up my Antex Linux like I showed you that it hasn't been updated yet and it's running low. So I don't know why this is happening, but it's not good, especially if you're using the system for hours on end because your processors are running high, they're being overrun and they get hot. So now I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna quit here. Whoops. I'm gonna open up my terminal. I'm gonna do sudo power off. I'm gonna close that. And now I'm going to open up LMDE6. I'm going to start it. I'm going to make it full screen. I'm going to hit enter. This is also encrypted, so I'm going to put my encryption password in. And it's just booting up. It's going to take me to the login manager or the display manager as it is correctly called. And here we are. And I just want to make sure I'm logging into Awesome and not into the Cinnamon desktop because I want to do a fair comparison. And I'm going to put my password in. And now we are logged into Linux Mint Debian LMDE6 with the Awesome Window Manager and my configuration file. So I'm going to open up a terminal. Oh, sorry. I'm going to open up HTOP. And here we can see, here I gave it four processors. I gave it uh, four gigs of RAM. And the installer automatically gave it four gig swap, which is a bit much for swap, but hey, what the hey. <laughs> so you can see, look how quiet the processors are. And I know because I did this off camera, if I were to check the processors of my host machine, they're quiet as well. 
And of course, again, I will repeat, I can't show you that. Well, I could, but I'm not going to show you that because those processes are running high because I have OBS Studio open and I'm doing my recording. So I don't know why Antex Linux is doing that. Both Antex Linux and LMDE6 are based on Debian. And they're pulling their apps and their updates from Debian. And I've updated this LMDE6. I updated it this morning and everything is fine. But when I update Antex Linux, the processors are running high in Antex Linux and on the host machine. And like I said, I don't know why. So because of this, I am going to recommend LMDE6 Linux Mint Debian over Antex Linux. Now, I don't know if this situation is happening on bare metal because I didn't install Antex Linux or LMD6 on bare metal, but I did try Antex Linux in two different types of virtual machines, VMware and within my Windows 10 computer and in my Linux box, Vert Manager on top of Kimu. So this was just a short video to show you what happened this week when I updated Antex Linux and how the processors are running high in the virtual machine and in the host machine and how it wasn't happening before the update and how it's not happening in Linux Mint Debian LMDE6 even after it's updated. So like I said before, I don't know why this is happening. And because of this, as much as I like Antex Linux and as much as I was impressed with it and recommended it, right now I'm going to recommend using Linux Mint Debian LMDE6 over Antex Linux. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you learned something, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mitch.